Are we on? Oh, I'm on Titan Prowler. I hate that. You do that every time. I know. Are we live? Yep. Huh? Hey, yes. Yay, we're live. Yay. Anybody home yet? Anybody home yet? <laughs> they probably hear me chew chewing. Chewing them rocks. The poppin' rocks. Y'all like these pop rocks? Poppin' rocks. I never could stand them. They're open, don't. Oh, they're but we're going to do an experiment with them. Well, these ones are not. That's fine. Be careful. Make sure they're good and loose. These ones are open. I did, but you want to fold it back so you don't spill them. Nobody will spill them. What do we do with these? Oh, those are open. Let me know if anybody comes on. Josh is on. Keith McLam is on. Keith McLam. Hello, hello, everybody. Hello. Welcome to our Wednesday night youth meeting. Mm -hmm. Youth from ages 1 to 92, as the song says. 2 to 92. How's the song go? 1 to 51. 1 to 51. 1 to 2. I'm almost out. And your mom and dad are on there. From kids. From one you keep moving that, and I put keep putting it back in the... Screen, the no, live screen. Alright, tonight we're going to talk, well our lesson is titled Fizzling Out. And Teddy's on. And we're going to talk about how sometimes our relationship with God is, you know, we're all excited and we're pumped up and we feel super close. And sometimes we don't, right? Do you feel like, do sometimes you feel like you're closer to God than other times? Mm -hmm. Like sometimes, like if you're you've been to church and you've had a real good service you feel like really pumped up and excited and sometimes you're just like eh, whatever is that right uh, i need you to participate in the speaking all right so tonight we're going to talk about how we can keep ourselves energized in god or with god mm -hmm. and we're going to do a little experiment here with i have regular water you can tell. And I have water. X has fizzy water, carbonated water. And I got that. And we both have some pop rock. Pop, I can't even say it. Pop rocks. What flavor is yours? I don't think. I think they're the same flavor. They're both My pink and blue. Alright, yeah, mine is good. Alright, so what we're going to do is pour these pop rocks in here. Right now? And we tried to get the, pretty close to the exact amount of sand. The exact, I can't talk. Can somebody talk for me? The exact same amount of water. There you go. It's been a long day. So, we're going to count to three. Are we doing it now? And we're going to dump them in. Which one do y'all think will fizz the most? Which one do you will be most exciting and most energized? Um, you think fizzy water or regular water? Will, fizzy. You think it'll fizz more since it already has fizz in it? Mm -hmm. All right. One. One. Two. two. Everybody keep count. Let's see which one does it. See which one fizzes fastest and which one fizzes longest. Okay? Set, go. go. Okay, so X is took right off and started fizzing. Mine's a little slow. But look at it, you can see it's still bubbling. I still got some in here. Yeah, well that's good. I'm trying. I hear them. You can hear them crackling in there. See, mine's barely doing anything. X is still fizzing pretty good. Like his, you can see his moving up and down with the fizz, I assume is what that is. Mine are just kind of sitting there. I can every now and then you get one pop to the top. <laughs> That's weird. What? All right, so we kind of figured that would be the right one, right? Yeah. Please do not eat while we're doing the lesson. You can eat them afterwards. All right, so we'll leave that there. Maybe it'll continue to pop. We'll see how long it lasts through the lesson. All right, so. All right, we knew which one. This one, it's like it's fizzled out already. And it's that one's moving a little bit at the bottom. But it's just barely doing anything. It's, it's kind of like when we've... These if, are dancing. If we've yeah. missed church for a while or... You know, if we haven't been studying our Bible or whatever, it's just kind of there, right? Mm -hmm. Not really doing anything. What's this one doing? It's moving. And it's moving, right? And dancing and having a good old day. Oh, I hope this one changed colors and this one didn't. Mm -hmm. That's another good question. I, didn't, I did not anticipate Is that. Is that like for emotion? Like, emotion? Like, I don't know. I don't know why it did that. It's probably just because the fizziness. 
made it dissolve or something better. I don't know. Mm. I don't know. Anyway, so what? All right, like I said, this is kind of like what? Like we haven't been to church or we've been not paying attention in church. Kind of like that. Our, our life's just kind of blah, right? We just what? settle. We settle we to the bottom. Settle. We just like settle. It settle to the bottom. So what about this one? What does that, like, how can you relate that to our life with God? Mm. We're moving. We're more, we move more. We, because I think these have actually dissolved. Yeah, we're more active. We're more active. I think that's the key word, being active. Moving. You're not, you're, you're moving and you're not sitting still, right? Not just waiting for things to happen. You're out there making them happen, Because right? God wants us to go out and make things happen, not sit and wait for them to happen, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so what? Kind of All right, we're going to worry about that. Aunt Momo said that's what happens when the love, when you love the Lord and so right by, and do right by him, it shows through ourselves. Right. It shows through ourselves, through our actions, through our speech, through all kinds of stuff. Like what, what, what things can we do to make our lives more like this one than this one? We've done said that this is, we're just sitting back not doing anything, but what kind of things can we do to be this side? Um. Spread the word. Spread the word. Okay. Read our Bible. How do you spread the word? How do you spread the word? How do you spread the word? What does that mean? Tell people about Jesus and God. Okay. Tell other people. So we spread the word of Jesus by telling other people about God. How else can we spread the word? Or be active for God. How else can we be like this jar? What can we do? Go to, go to church. church. Now, what else? Here's the, 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 the point of this lesson that we're trying to get across. I kind of I forgot to mention. Um, is our lives are super busy, right? Like we're always going here and there. We've always got, we got to go to work. And we got to go to school normally. Under normal conditions, we're always, we've got somewhere to be. When we've got school and we've got after school sports or during the summer, we've got baseball and then we've got swim. We always got something to do, right? Mm -hmm. And everybody out there has always got somewhere to do. They got to go to work or their activities or they want to go do this and they want to go do that, right? Aunt Momo says, singing, caring for others, sharing his love and reading the Bible. Jason says, social work. Working, helping other people. Just volunteering, right? Miss Jennifer says, love you, Xavier. She's watching. Uh, so, we're always busy, but we need to find time, right? Find time to be with God so that we don't turn into this. Yeah, look look at the back, the bottom, black. where it's black and all mushy. Yeah, it looks like it's turning black. Look at that. You can't even stir it up. It's so dead. See? We don't want to just settle at the bottom, right? See, and look, this one's, this one's dissolved and gone. Yeah, this one's all See? Stir it up, what happens? Anything? There's hardly anything in it. Not much left, is there? Yeah, mm -hmm. why is this one turning black? Because it's, it's still got bubbles, though. Look, yeah. I mean, it's still bubbles. Uh -huh. It's still got a little bit in there. Yeah. See, this one, if you're active with God and you and you um, are strong with God, then you are more pure, you do more, and things go well. And then if you're not, you turn ugly and nasty and black. Ugh. <laughs> So, like we said, you're going to church. What might my mom say? I mean, I Sh singing, singing, caring for, for others, sharing his love, reading the Bible, reading and the Bible, social work is what praying, Jason said. Praying. We need to find time. Do you pray every day? Do you when you pray every day? Night time before bed? You always say our prayers, don't we? All right, that's good. We need to do that. We should probably pray more than one time a day. Well, no. We do pray more than that a day. We pray when? Oh. Yeah. Like, we anytime we're ever at the table together, we pray, don't we? Right. No we matter what. Make sure we pray you know, as often as we can, right? Pray to God. We ask Him for things and we thank Him for things and we ask Him to forgive us when we mess up, right? Ask Him to help make us closer to Him. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it says, How does having a strong connection with God? 
help you face busy times in your life? How does being strong with God help you help you with being always going busy, busy, busy all the time? How does being with God what? <laughs> How does being with God help us when our lives are busy and chaotic? Um, he protects us, right? Yeah. We can trust him. We can trust him. Watch over us as we're traveling back and forth. Yeah. He helps us maybe we can pray to him that we won't get stressed if we've got a lot of stuff going on. Like we've got if you got a big test at school, you pray <laughs> and ask him to help you to do your best. Uh -huh. But Did that you? didn't happen. It didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't help you pass your test. No, because he didn't have big tests. This well, year. no, not this year. But you know, you will again. You'll have big tests. But before you, it's that, coming. Right? <laughs> you might have missed. You hit the lottery this year by not because I think it's third grade when they they start the big yeah. test. Start the hard stuff. When they start the hard test, it's oh, third yeah. grade, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so okay. he hit the lottery by yeah. out a year, and now he gets to do it next year. Now he'll be behind. But we've got <laughs> lots of tests coming up. But, you know, Mommy and Daddy, we, we ask God to watch over us as we're traveling when we're at work. We ask him to protect you all when we can't be with you. So we ask God for a lot of things, don't we? And being strong with him gives us the faith to believe that he'll take care of us, right? Okay. Are you sleepy? Every time we get on the... He starts yawning. He start, yeah, all of them do. Right. Miss Jennifer said it is. Third grade is when. Third grade. Yeah. You lucked out then. Yeah. All right. So, what can we do? Let's think of one thing we can change to be closer to God. Like, what, what can we do more of to, be, to make ourselves closer to God? To make ourselves bubbly? What can you do more of? We named off several things we could do. Sing, go to church, pray, read our Bible, take care of others. And, and we go to church just about every time it's open, right? Three months. Even when so. it's not open, right? Sometimes, Sometimes we go. Even when it's not open. So you can't really go to church more than what we do. I mean, we could go other places, I guess. Um, what can you do here at home? Let's think about that. What's something we need to do more of? You need to do it more. I need to do it more. What's this right? What's this right here? Yeah. This right here. What is this? A Bible. Do you read it every day? No, I don't either. We should though, shouldn't we? We should try to read it every day. It's got pop rocks on it. It's got pop rocks on it. All right, so we're gonna start reading right now, okay? And it says, um, pray, read the Bible, and study the Word. Right, study That's what Miss Kathy says. That's how we know what he wants us to do, right? This is like God's instruction book for us. So if we if we read his instructions, we know what to do and how to act and where to be and how to go and all that kind of stuff, right? Mm -hmm. So, but even Jesus was busy. Do you think they were less busy back in Jesus' time? Mm. I think Jesus' life was just as hectic as ours. <laughs> you think life was crazy back then like it is now? Mm -hmm. You think so? Do you think... Jesus ever got busy and was just like, oh, I'm so tired. No. You don't think so? Uh -uh. Uh -uh. I don't know if he did. But we're going to read about how even Jesus... Well, if he to, didn't, I need him to instill some of that on me. That's why you have to be close to like him. This. Like that. He gives you energy. We're going to read in Mark chapter 1, verses 29 through 35. And we're going to read how Jesus, I mean, Jesus was on earth, so he, he had to be re-energized with God too, didn't he? He probably got tired of dealing with people sometimes, mm -hmm. right? You think he did? Mm -hmm. Like sometimes when they weren't doing what they were supposed to do, like when they had stuff set up in the temple to sell. You remember that story? Mm -hmm. They were selling stuff in the temple, selling sacrifices and having money changers and he turned their tables over what's a money changer i don't know what that where god got upset and he went in there or jesus got upset and went in there and just flipped all the tables he turned their tables over he said he'd made their they had made his church a, a, a i was about to say dad a, a den of sin or something brother jack if you're still watching tell us what it says <laughs> 
<laughs> but anyway, let's read what God Or anybody did. else that what knows, Jesus let us did. know what it says. Let's read this, 29 through 35. Okay, now listen real careful. And the fourth with, when they go, come out of the... Synagogue. Synagogue, they and carried into the house of Simon and Andrew with James and John, but Simon's wife mother lay sick of a fever, and Anon, they tell him her of her, and, I, and I, he came and took her by the hand and lifted her up and in and immediately, immediately, forever left her. And the fever left the fever. The fever left her. The fever left her, and she ministered unto them. And I, even when the sun did wear, the sun did, did the sun, sit. The sun did set. They brought unto him all that. Were diseased, and them that were possessed, possessed with devils, and the, and all the city was gathered to gather at the door, and he healed many that were sick. Of divers disease and cast out many devils and suffered not the devils to speak because they knew him. Okay, or wait, just a second. All right, so that was kind of telling about just one day in the life of Jesus. They left the synagogue, which was church, so they had had church and they went to Simon's house and then he healed Simon's mother in law of a fever and then. When after that, at the evening that night, when the sun did set, they brought unto him all the diseased and all that were possessed with devils. So they brought all kinds of people to Jesus. And he spent all night, it says, and all the city was gathered together at the door. So there was a whole bunch of people there, a big old crowd, lots of sick people, lots of people possessed. And it says, and he healed many that were sick of divers diseases. That means all kinds of different diseases. So he was healing people all night and casting out devils. So he had a pretty busy day, didn't he? Does that sound like Jesus had a busy day? Sounds to me like he had a busy day. Have you ever had a busy day like that? Not doing those things, but you've had days where we go, like we go to church in the morning, right? And then we go out and eat or something, and we'll come home and we'll go hiking or ride a bike or... Or go, go visit somebody, go down to the Nana and Papa's Lake. So it's busy, right? We're always doing something. But let's read verse 35 and see what it says Jesus did. You did. Because I knew him. You don't have to read that part. All right, just read verse 35 now. And in the morning, rising up, a, a great while before day, he went out and departed into a solitary place, and they prayed. And they're afraid. So what do you think he said? What's it saying he did right there? Okay. In the morning, he got up really early. It said, rising up before the day. So that means he got up really early before the sun rose, right? And he went off to a solitary place, which means he went off by himself, and he prayed. Mm -hmm. So God got up real early in the morning when nobody else was around, or Jesus got up real early in the morning. And he went off on his own, and he prayed, and he spoke to God, didn't he? Mm hmm so see, that's what it's saying we need to do. We need to make sure that we make time for Jesus, no matter how busy our day is. We need to find time to spend time with him and God, right? Mm -hmm. Praying, just talking to them, and, you know, um, reading our Bible, like we said, singing. Mm -hmm. Like, there's all kinds of time. I mean, we think we're busy, but we can always find time for God, can't we? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Miss Jennifer says, and when Jesus took a rest, he would go to a place by himself and pray to God, and that gave him rest. Yes. Gave him 
rest. And you know what happens when you rest? What else do you get when you rest? Yeah. What do you get over here? What are these things doing? You get more... Bubble. More bubbly. More, more energy. energy. And you're stronger and you're ready to face the day, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Okay. So God gives us energy and strength. Like that's like so us, we go to church on Sunday morning and we always go out to eat on Sunday mornings after church. We always go somewhere and we're always so tired for some reason on Sundays. <laughs> and then we come home and we always take a nap and then we get up from our nap. And then most of them will go hike or do something else or go back to church. I don't take a nap. <laughs> you don't take a nap. Ex never takes a nap. No, no more. Mommy still takes a nap. <laughs> That's old age talking to us, though, isn't it? All right. So, anything else we need to talk about, X? Mm-mm-mm. What do we need to make sure we do? Read the Bible more. Read the Bible more. Just make sure we spend time with God, right? And one way we can do that is reading the Bible, mm-hmm. right? Or singing, or just praying. When we pray, do we do we always have to ask God for something? Nothing. No. What can we do? Just kind of talk to him? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because God is like our friend, right? Or Jesus. Should we pray just to be asking for something? No. Mm-hmm. No. no I, mean, you just, I mean, you don't have to just pray. When you pray to God, you can just talk to him. Like, I mean, he knows everything, but you can kind of tell him about your day and be like, well, we did this and then I got mad. So forgive me for that. And help me not to do that. I mean, you can just talk to God. You don't always have to be asking for something or asking forgiveness. You can just kind of talk to Him, right? And you don't. And you can talk to Him just like we're talking to each other. There's sometimes yeah. the uh, mommy is in the car and I'm praying as I'm going to work or driving, and I'm talking out loud. I'm talking out loud. There's no one in the vehicle, but I'm talking out loud, and people driving by are probably like, "Who's she talking to? Is she talking on the phone?" But no, I'm talking to God. But when I got him in at home, a lot of times I just pray to myself and keep it to myself. But you, let me tell you something. It To me, praying out loud to God, to me, feels more powerful. I feel more energized. I feel more spiritual. I feel cleansed. And I feel better praying and talking to him out loud like I would be talking to you as I do if I just... Say it to myself. I don't know. It makes me feel better. I don't know how other people do, but it does make me feel better talking out loud to him. Does it? Yeah, I don't know I, why. I, I, I guess I do it to myself. I don't know. Maybe it's just I freak myself out if I'm talking to myself. I don't know. But I don't know. I, I just feel like... Do you? Yeah, I don't, it's more private to me. Uh-huh. I don't know. Maybe that's what it is. Well, I mean, if I'm alone, I'm not going to talk to God yeah, not on my own. Maybe I just don't like to hear the sound of my own voice. Yeah. So for me, it's easier for me. And I struggle, you know, God gave, gives us talents, right? Does God give us talents to use yeah. to help worship Him? And if we don't use our talents, what happens? We don't have them. We don't have them. Right. Use them or lose them, right? And God gave Mommy the talent to sing, right? I might not do it the best, or I feel like it's not the best. So sometimes I don't sing. I don't get up and I sing because... Um, sometimes I don't think I'm good enough or I'm not worthy enough to stand up there and sing with other people because I don't feel like I am good enough. So I don't. So I sit back in my seat and I don't. I sing from my seat. Should I do that? Should mommy do that? No, I shouldn't do that, right? I should always do what God tells me to do. Because I'll tell you, sometimes I'm sitting back there and some some people will ask me if I'd sing a song or want me to do something. And I just don't feel worthy enough to sing for them. Or I'm not good enough or somebody else could do it a lot better than me. So I just sit there. And I think throughout everyone's lives, there's something that God tells them to do or asks them to do. Or lays on their hearts and they don't do it. So we're not active, right? So then we look like this glass. The black one. Yeah. Then we start looking a whole lot like this. We start getting sludgy. Is that what it is? So then we start getting real like sludge. Because we're not active for God. God gives us talents and gives us things in our lives so we can so we can be. Ooh, what would that look like? Nothing. 
Nothing, Daddy's just playing. I'm just cleaning it up. Stop. No, you're not drinking it. Now it looks bad. All right, listen. Let's round. Let's wind up the lesson here. Last week was about an hour long. Yeah, we went on forever last week. Now it's popping. But our final point here says God pulled away, or Jesus pulled away to spend time with God. Not so he could just unplug and recuperate, which we need to do. We don't always need to be plugged into something, don't we? That's a whole other lesson, isn't it? Tablets and phones and TV. Maybe we need to do a use lesson on, on how to unplug. But to unplug and recuperate, that means unplug from life and just get away by ourselves, right? But to make sure he stayed plugged in to the real source of his strength in the midst of all the busyness. And what is this? What is the source of our strength? Jesus or God. God. Okay, so that's why we need to make sure that we spend time with them so that we can stay strong and make it through our normal lives, but also so that we can spread his word to other people. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. Anything else? Anybody out there got anything else they want to add? Jason says, praise, repent, ask, yield. Yes, yield is a big thing. We gotta, What's that? When we get, that means allow Stop. him to work. And allow him to work. Not, okay, God, you gave me this job. I'm going to go do it this way. And God's like, no, we'll do it this way. You or have to let him do things his way. Or we ask and we ask and we ask and nothing's happening the way we want it to. Or things aren't going as fast as we like them to. We should stop and wait for God. Wait on God. And let him do it in his own time. Or in, in due time. God does everything the right time. What song? Stand still. Stand still and let God move. Yep. Sometimes God wants to do something for us, but we're, we're doing our own thing and we're getting in his way. Sometimes we just have to stop and let him do his thing, don't we? All right. Well, I guess that'll wind it up. Nobody else has anything? No? All right. Well, thanks for watching. We will. We appreciate everybody who's on and watches and communicates back and forth with us through these youth lives until we can get our youth program back up and running at our church. We're going to continue doing these lives for the youth and the kids of today and tomorrow and um, whoever, else, whoever is else is out there. It's not only for kids. Adults learn. I know I took away a lot from last week's lesson myself. And there are times that when we were in church and doing our youth lessons that things would happen and I took a lot away from there. So even us adults take away things from these lessons. So thanks everybody for watching. Yeah, we if, learn a lot more from the kids than they do from us sometimes. Mm -hmm. All right, X. Do you want to say prayer and dismiss us? Mm -hmm. You do? Okay, good job. Mm -hmm. Go for it. Thank you, Help to stay and help the lost kind of people with the end of prayer. Amen. Amen. Good, Good job. job. All right. Bye, Thank guys. You See you later. See you next week.